Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and today's episode of RQ Must Haps is all about scale model materials. Now this is a topic that I really look forward to talking about because you know, when we were first given our like scale model assignment, we didn't get any instructions on how to go about it. It was really just like, okay class, make a model. And I was like, an an anong magandang materials parang wala wala talaga hindi nagbigay yung prof namin i mean i guess they did that so we could explore our creativity and like not limit our options on how to do the model but also like a little advice would be nice so today i am gonna give that advice to you i will be discussing the materials that worked for me and also what didn't and yeah maybe you could learn a thing or two and mapadali yung buhay nyo kahit papano so anyways without further ado let's jump right into the video Woo! Firstly, what is a scale model? Well, a scale model is a model that is made to scale. Well, I know, right? Talino. Well, it's a model that is meant to be a physical representation of a structure so that you can visualize it better. The pinaka example niya is yung mga condominiums for sale that you see around the malls. Like, diba, they have this little scale model of the building. Um, yeah, that is a scale model. <laughs> However, when I was in college, we never called our assignment scale models. We called them sketch models. Hindi ko sure kung talagang magkaiba sila. But from how I understood it, when we say scale model, it was usually like an exact replica of what you're gonna be building down to like the paint color, yung material. It's really like a more precise and accurate model talaga. But when we say sketch models, it's just like a sketch or like a rough draft. So it doesn't have to be exact. Um, it's usually like a monochromatic model lang. That is just meant to represent the idea of the design or of the structure. So so, hindi siya sobrang accurate. It doesn't have to have like the window cutouts or everything and walang color usually. Yeah, that's usually what we were asked to do para mas mabilis. It was just used to better visualize like the shape of the building, yung flow of spaces, um, etc, etc. So, that's what we're gonna focus on for today. Now, let's go to the basics when it comes to scale model materials. First, you need to have your cutting mat. Now, this is a very important thing to buy. I do not skip buying this. It's a mat that you put underneath um, whatever it is that you're cutting. Because when you cut something with a cutter, whatever is underneath, it's gonna get damaged. So if you don't have a cutting mat to like protect whatever surface that is, masisira yung surface na yun. Kaya nga lahat ng drafting table sa Arki, napaka sira, -sira na. Yeah, it has a lot of cutter marks because people forget to use a cutting mat. So please buy one. Also so that you don't damage any of your properties as well, especially if you're making a model at home. So it comes in both A3 and A4 sizes. I own both and honestly, it's really convenient because A3 I like using when I'm making larger scale models and then the A4 size is what I like to bring to school whenever I need it and at least kasha siya sa bag ko. Next we have the cutter. Now this is the most commonly used material for cutting stuff for your scale model materials for like cutting boards. I remember my professor recommended this Japanese brand of cutters. Honestly I don't remember the brand but I think it's NT cutters because it's what I bought so I guess yun yung sinabi niya. It's a lot smaller than your usual cutter that you see but I really think that it's more workable that way. Mas precise yung nagagawa mong cuts. I feel like it's easier to control as well. Another alternative for the cutter is the exacto knife and that one is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to use. It's very smooth, but I don't personally use it as much because I feel like it's so much sharper than a regular cutter and that scares me a lot. <laughs> Next, you need to have scissors as well because the um, um, it's also used for cutting stuff. Sometimes it's more convenient to use than a cutter for certain materials. Next, we have the metal ruler. Now, this one is something that I already discussed in my rulers video link down below um, but I will repeat it again please buy a metal ruler again it's used 
alongside the cutter for cutting boards and please do not do not use your triangles for cutting boards because they will get damaged while the metal ruler will not of course you also need to buy some glue now my favorite brand that I used is Uhu glue I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but that's how I pronounce it I like it because it's strong enough to hold your model together but not annoying enough for it to stick to your fingers it's a bit hot when applied I mean, mostly all glues are, um, so just be careful. And I don't know why, but for some reason, every single time that I use Uhu glue, the case of it eventually breaks. So it's really just good to use for one sketch model. It's not something that you can store for a long period of time. I don't know, it's really serious. But for me, it's all worth it. You really get to make the most of it naman before it breaks. <laughs> um, other things that I've tried for glue is Mighty Bond. Mighty Bond sucks. I mean, it's strong. Like, it's really strong. But it sticks to your fingers and it freaking burns. And gosh, war flashbacks. It's so inconvenient. And pro tip, if you get Mighty Bond on your hands, uh, use acetone. <laughs> to remove it. And also, when I close the lid of a Mighty Bond, um, hindi na siya bumabukas ulit. Like, the Mighty Bond sticks to the lid. So, sobrang. Okay. Para saan pa tong binili ko? Uh, yeah. Also, use a glue gun. A glue gun is also okay, but it's also inconvenient because it makes all those glue webs and it's just so... Mm! <laughs> it does not keep the model clean. It's also good to have Elmer's glue or white glue around. I've also used that for some parts of my skin model and it works but not all the time then we have tape um, I've said this in a video way before, but just buy every single type of tape that there is. Buy masking tape, scotch tape, double-sided tape, duct tape, washi tape, whatever. Um, yeah, just buy everything and I'm sure you'll be able to use it in one point or another in your archie life. Now, let's move on to the types of boards. Boards are usually the ones you use for scale models and there are a lot of types. Something I discovered in archie. First, we have the foam board. It's a board made of styrofoam. I don't recommend that you use this for walls. When you cut it, it has a tendency to get real messy. Like the styrofoam just deteriorates or whatever. Um, but I do like using it for the base. Because it's already kind of thick. So okay na yun. It comes in both black and white. I like using the black one. It makes your model, which is usually color white, stand out more because my contrast sila. Then we have the illustration board and illustration board sucks. It sucks to use for her walls because going into Arky, I Again, I didn't know anything about materials, so I went with what I knew from high school, which was illustration board. And oh my gosh, it is so difficult to cut, as in it makes me want to cry every time I try. Just, just, just don't, guys. Just don't. However, it is good to use for, again, the base of your models. Especially if you want, like, a little height to your base so that it looks more legit. I also use it for, like, the standing title block that I do and, like, a 3D north arrow. Yeah, it's good to use for that. Next, we have Sintra board. Now, Sintra board is like illustration board, but it sucks less. <laughs> I actually know a lot of people who like using Sintra board for like the walls and the roof and all that stuff. That's good if you want to try it, then it's a good material. Solid 7 out of 10. <laughs> then we have Bristol board. Now, this is what I love to use when I am making sketch models. This is like my holy grail. <laughs> it's like a white folder but in board form so it's very easy to cut to fold or to crease mm -hmm. yeah it's just it's so versatile wow <laughs> i really find this the most workable it's actually what i use for like my whole thesis model so yeah i highly recommend it up next is cardboard now this is something that is good to use when you just want to show like the shape of your building and when you don't need a lot of detail to your model usually what you do is you're just gonna layer it on top of one another to create that 3d effect and that's it we've actually had a few activities back then where you just use cardboard for our sketch models just to like you know explore creativity or whatever <laughs> Ayun. so yeah it's good to use for that then we have corrugated board now this is something that i love to use for my roofs it's corrugated so like para siyang accordion ganon it already has that look or texture of 
a GI roof or Yero sa Tagalog. And I find that when I put it in my models, it makes it look a bit more realistic without really putting much effort to it. Then lastly, we have pack liner. This is just something that I wanted to include here because in my early days of Arky, this was the material to use for your sketch models. It's like a brown folder but in board form. I also love the look of it because it makes your model look cleaner. And I'm okay, so brang ganda lang niya sa mata. But sadly, they stopped making this board as in like how dare they literally the company that made them in Japan stopped producing this product. So, ayun, mga hanggang third year ko lang siya nagamit and wala na. Never na nagkaroon ulit ng pack lighter. <laughs> now, let's talk about some special materials that you can use for your sketch models. So, I call these special um because they're just things that you can use if you want your models to have more detail. First, we have acetate. Um, now, this one is what we use for window textures. If you want to show that there's glass windows in certain parts of your building, then you can use acetate. It's so easy to cut and to use. Next, we have grass powder. Um, I'm not really sure if that's what you call it because I called it felt powder, pero when I tried to search on Shopee, it says grass powder. Basta kapag pumunta ka sa store, sabihin mo lang, yung grass po, gets na nila yun. Now, this is something that I also use for my thesis model and girl. It really elevates the look of it. It doesn't require much effort to put it. Just need Elmer's glue and then just drop everything there. It's a good way to level up the look of your model without putting much effort to it. Uh, and also, if you have a green roof, um, I highly recommend that you use this. Lastly, you have scale model trees, people, and furniture. We do sell these in art stores. Again, if you just want more details in your model, then you can go ahead and buy these. I've only ever bought the trees for like entourage ganon. And yeah, it really looks good on your model. So everything that I just discussed are just like the basics of scale model materials. You don't have to limit yourself to just those. Definitely think outside the box, be creative, and be resourceful. Resourcefulness is one of like the most important things you can learn in Arky. <laughs> like for example, other materials that I've used in my models were like um, rolled up paper for like round columns, um, chicken wire for vertical garden. We also use women's white stockings for it to look like a tense roof so yeah be resourceful talaga and now there's also an option for laser cutting you just like put them together like a puzzle and then you're done so I guess it depends on your professor if they let you do it but there are options now which makes model making a whole lot easier so again when it comes to scale model materials the limit does not exist <laughs> here is a recap of everything that I just discussed about scale model materials but guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you're updated whenever I post a new video. Comment down below what video you want to see next and I hope to see you next time. Bye!